from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. Now on the 10 o'clock news, neighbors joining together to clean up after a tornado tore through their neighborhood. Nothing you could do though, it was too fast. It came through too fast. Elsa is now bringing heavy rains to New York City, causing flooding, but not before the storm's strong winds battered North Carolina's coast and downed trees. Tropical storm Elsa carving a destructive path up the East Coast. The storm spinning up tornadoes that flipped RVs and ripped off roofs and down trees. You can see in the Sky 4 drone video portions of local businesses, roofs torn off and sheet metal in a nearby retention pond. The National Weather Service saying the tornado had a path of destruction about 3.75 miles long in the San Jose neighborhood. We're covering all the angles of Elsa's destruction tonight, starting with News 4 Jacks reporter Eric Avignier in Camden County, Georgia. Eric. Yes, the update now is that several hours ago, all the power had been restored to uh, customers who lost electricity uh, when that tornado swooped through here. But the reality is the fact that there is just a lot of damage here. And you know what? It is going to take quite some time to clean all this up. A drive down Norris Street revealing the destruction left behind by what the National Weather Service is calling an EF2 tornado. The estimated path of the tornado more than three and a half miles. You can see the downed trees and power lines and homes badly damaged by the twister. Three miles from here in Point Peter neighborhood, Elijah Doobie was inside his house when the tornado came through. Man, it was crazy. Uh, I came out the push and I hear uh, like a siren blowing and I saw the neighbor RV spinning in the air. And I ran back in the house. When I came back out, everything was here. Everything was damaged. Including his two homes that are next to each other and a shed in his backyard that he uses for work. This is the RV he was referring to as spinning in the air. It belongs to his neighbor across the street. The owner of the RV says it was parked in his driveway when the tornado picked it up and flung it 225 feet to the corner of Lane's Lane and T Street. I uh, just got picked up. My neighbor said that it was spinning like a top. And it hit the guy wires over here, and uh, that's what stopped it. He was up in the air floating. He just picked it up like it was nothing. This is video of an injured raccoon seen going through food that was flung from the RV after it crashed. Meanwhile, neighbors are left thinking about what they went through and how they managed to survive. Ain't nothing you could do, though. It was too fast. It came through too fast. These things are no joke. They will get you if you're not careful. We're alive. The kids are alive. Everybody alive. And that's it. Now, the owner of this RV says he just bought the vehicle last summer, and it's a 2020 model. Thankfully, he has insurance to replace this and actually get him a new one. Now, coming up at 11, we're going to go around the corner uh, where there is more than well, there were more than a dozen volunteers from a local church who were helping out a single mom who had seven, count it, seven trees fall on her property. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.